Yeah, hi everybody, Ideast here. Um, I wanted to make a quick video on uh, an article I just read recently, and it's uh, it's about milk, and is milk good for you after a, a certain age, and is certain types of milk good or bad for you? Um, this article that I read, I had actually read it before, and for whatever reason it snapped back into my head today. I think I saw a commercial or something, or actually Penn, Penn says on the Penn and Teller YouTube channel, uh, had a video about milk, and for whatever reason, I uh, I thought about it. Um, and the article is called "The Milk Letter: A Message to My Patients." It's by uh, a 30-year breast uh, surgeon. He uh, was the at the chief division of general surgery, uh, breast surgery at Seton Medical Center in uh, California. Like I said, he's 30 years. He's retired now. <clears throat> but the uh, the article was very interesting. It uh, at a very fundamental level or very elementary level, basically what it gets at is that uh, over the course of this doctor's uh, career, he studied obviously breast surgery and milk and uh, he, he read over 1,500 or 500 letters um, or actually articles, uh, scientific articles that you know state that milk, uh, especially other animal milk, is not good or not healthy for an individual. And at a, like I said, a very elementary level, if you look at the human being, the lactation period, or any animal for that matter, they only lactate for a certain amount of time, and then they wean their offspring off. Uh, you know, a woman only lactates for so many months after a child's born to give it its proper nutrition, and then, you know, na nature-wise, it's supposed to move on to solid foods and, and get its nourishment elsewhere. Um, the article is pretty interesting. It, it, it shows how that. You know, psychologically, we're pretty, we're bred into wanting to drink cow milk and not other milk. Um, you know, it asks the question, would you drink a rat's milk if you could? Or would you drink a dog's milk or cat milk? And, you know, all these commercials when you're growing up, it shows all these lovely looking people, uh, all drinking milk and saying, you know, milk, mm, good, and, and how good it is for you, and so on and so forth. And according to all these studies, uh, especially bovine cow milk is, very, very bad for us. Uh, you know, it's got four times the protein that a human's milk, um, you know, a mother's milk does. Um, you know, we all hear protein's great and, you know, it's supposed to be the liquid meat and, and so good for you and so on and so forth. And, uh, you know, that, that's only in, in, you know, certain amounts. You can have too much protein. Um, and, you know, it goes into more of a, a medical, you know, uh, portion of the article as well where it gets into, you know, diabetes and uh, all these other related diseases that can come from drinking milk and how most of the people in, in, you know, in different countries are actually, you know, lactose intolerant or milk makes them sick. Um, and, you know, uh, it goes into the hunter-gatherer mentality. And like I said, at a very elemental level, you know, the way that nature is, we're not supposed to be on milk for, you know, however many years. You're only supposed to be on it for whatever the lactation period is. And then you're supposed to get your protein and your nutrients and your, you know, your vitamins elsewhere and through a different type of diet. Um, and that, you know, bovine or cow milk is not good for us. You know, there's there's bovine leukemic, uh, leukemic uh, <clears throat> virus. There's an AIDS-like virus as well. Uh with concern for childhood diabetes, uh, different types of contamination of milk, um, you know, the different insecticides it uses, um, you know, ear and tonsillar infections. Like I said, it goes into a more of a granular level. Um, but what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to, uh, I just wanted to open this up for, uh, you know, conversation to see what other people think. I'm going to actually post a link um, to the article. You can, you know, peruse it at your own uh, will if you feel that you want to. I thought it was interesting, and I wanted to share it with you. Um, I still drink milk, <laughs> even after uh, reading the article, because I'm fucking brainwashed into it. Um, now, whatever. But reading shit like this opens your eyes up to a lot of different things. Um, you know, is it really good? Should I be really drinking it? Um, so yeah, I thought I'd share it with you. I want to make a quick video. It's been, uh, it's been some time. So anyway, I hope everybody's all well. Um... I hope your uh, milk intake isn't causing any uh, calamities in your life. And uh, if you haven't yet, subscribe. I'd like to uh, hear different people's points of views. And uh, the more people I speak with, the better. And until next time, think hard.